share it. Come on, yep. Yeah. Today is just the most gorgeous day from the moment we, we woke up, the most stunning sunrise today. And I've done my lovely morning errands of <laughs> deadheading my roses, checking up on the garden, giving everything a little bit of a quick early morning water before it gets too hot. You don't want to water your plants in the middle of the day because the sun can actually intensify through the water droplets and scorch your plants, which is not ideal. So everything is refreshed and trimmed because Charlie and I are actually heading out for another exciting day today. This is just the perfect post-wedding week, week, basically. We've just had the loveliest things in our diary. So today, we have got about an hour road trip, I think, maybe just under an hour, I think to a lovely place that we have been to before many a year ago called the Lakes by You. I will of course show you all around and explain more when we get there but it's going to be a very wholesome wellness focused day. You'll be spotting a few familiar faces today so it's going to be a glorious day. Charlie's coming along too. We're hitting the road in five minutes. I'm going to grab a quick juice or something and then let's go. I can tell you're my children because you just love the sunshine as much as your mummy does. Like mother, like sausage, is what I say. Sweetest doggies in the world. Do you like how this smells, my little? you like how that smells, Dexy? Mummy, I prefer nibbling things like that. Okay. You going to nibble my sweet pea? I'm not sure that it's edible, Dexy. Oh, is it yours now? Is it yours now? Right. Um, I'd rather you didn't. I'm having a bit of a tug of war with my eldest. <laughs> you win, my boy. Funny. I think this will be the last of the bouquets that I'll be able to put together with our wedding flowers. They've lasted so well, and yet I think the gorgeous delphiniums are just starting to turn. Um, alliums last really well in the water, and I'm really surprised how well the campanula have done as well. Normally such delicate little blooms don't last so well, but they've been very, very good. Um, but yeah, this is the last of our wedding flowers that I savoured, and they just look lovely. Really, really striking. Every time I purchase a delphinium again in the future, it will remind me of our wedding flowers and alliums too, which is wonderful because our garden is full of them. I'm going to be ordering 10 million more bulbs to plant this year. Um, but yeah, they just look fabulous. Mixed in, of course, with a little bit of salvia from the garden, which is fantastic in flower displays. Very, very structural with its height and also very long lasting, although it does sometimes leave little bibbly bits um, down on the table, but it's not too much stress to get rid of them. I would say it is worth it. And now I'm just faffing about waiting for Charlie to finish his breakfast and we're gonna hit the road, but a little outfit of the day, or outfit of the next couple of hours, <laughs> because I've got another dress with me for this evening. We've got um, a few kind of talks from wellness experts, and then we've got a fabulous dinner. And this morning, after a quick breakfast, I'll be slipping into something else for yoga. But for now, for the journey and for breakfast, I have popped on this lovely new dress that I bought from either Matches or Netta Porter, can't remember, but it is a Juliet Dunn. And I just love her pieces. They're perfect for elevated summer outfits, I'm gonna say. Really nice lightweight material. It's going to be warm today, so I just want something floaty and yet something pretty. I feel like I'm just always wearing <laughs> these Aquazura heels. They're the best purchase ever. Um, and yeah, the dress I will definitely be taking with me on all upcoming holidays. Really nice lightweight material. It's got a little bow detail on the sleeve, so you can make it as short or as long as you want. Little pockets and just the most gorgeous pink and green pattern. More flowers here 
from the wedding day. Do you know what I really need to do next week? Well, we might be on honeymoon. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be booking that today is um, print out some new pictures. That was from Ben and Robin's wedding. I was her something blue. And yeah, need to get some printed from our wedding. We have been here a grand total of 30 minutes, had a lovely introduction or reminder of what the lakes is all about from John, who is the co-owner here at the Lakes by You. And we've already been whisked into these fabulous, I love it, Melissa Odebash. Melissa is here, she's so lovely. Melissa Odebash, um, wetsuits, wet swimsuits, because first on our itinerary for Charlie and I this morning, we have got SUP yoga, which is yoga on a paddleboard on one of the lakes. So we're gonna head down to one of the beaches and I'm gonna put this swimsuit to the test and then I'm gonna tell you all about what we're actually discovering here because it is so amazing and I feel like I'm just gonna want to be here all the time. It's about 40 minutes from where we live um, and it's just everything that is so up my street. They're doing a real wellness focus with lots of things like cold water therapy, forest bathing, ice plunging, paddle boarding while swimming, everything that I absolutely love. Um, and I'm just obsessed with this swimsuit. You'll see more of that in a second and probably hopefully see Charlie plummeting face first into the lake because I'm much better at paddle boarding than he is. <laughs> lunch and now we are doing an ice plunge. Charlie just said in true Cotswold fashion it's colder than the Bamford it one. It is. <laughs> well there's actual ice in it and I'm struggling to talk. Well so Charlie Irons is struggling to talk. We know it's chilly. <sighs> Gosh I'm just gonna dunk and then come straight out again. Are you just chilling? I'm gonna come out now. Okay chilling literally. <laughs> <laughs> in every yeah. sense of the word. That is cold. Ooh. It's impressive. That was, wow, that was impressive how yeah. you actually just went straight. Yeah, you kind of have to. Do you know what though? It is actually colder than I thought. <laughs> right. That was You're gonna have to do it. I will do it. it. It's obviously not been in. No. Wow, your body is freezing. Yeah. You're gonna have to really wrap this up. No, but I feel fine. I feel fine already. Oh wow. Final the thing is, the trick is, the, apparently we've been told like the magic thing is hot, it's cold, hot, cold, hot, finish on cold. Yeah. So you do like three. Oh my gosh, you have time. to go really deep straight away. Yeah. Come on then. Oh goodness me. <laughs> Holy guacamole! <laughs> that is sensationally chilly. 
Yeah. 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 Hey, you're That's enough for today. That was oh, I think I think it's I think it's like three. I think it's like two or three degrees. Wow, the fact that there's it's still chilly. ice. Because I don't know it's I difficult because there's no thermometer on yeah. the planet no. um, oh where we God. use it at the gym. But that that's is really cold. Cold. I I think I think that could be colder. Colder, yeah. So we have had our most glorious spa treatments. How was your facial, darling? It was fantastic. The bit that I had that I've not had before mm -hmm. is I know a lot of you and. You in particular would be surprised that I haven't had this before. It's like a facial massage. Because oh. I've always had facials which are more like acid peel and you yeah. feel, your skin feels great the next day. Yep. But today I had more of a massage mm. and it felt really good. And to be fair, she said my jaw was really tight. I'm not surprised. Probably from all the talking. There, um, is, there, <laughs> <laughs> there is something very, very relaxing about having a facial massage. Um, we've actually just got a couple of hours spare. If you watched the last vlog, which uh, would have been when we went down to the Elemis Rosefield, you might have seen the Q&A segment at the end. Well, we actually just filmed that because we've got, we had a little bit of time. Now we're doing a little bit of exploration. Apparently somewhere here there is a farm. Um, I haven't seen any signs to it, but we're just having a little walk. I reckon exploring here on a bike would be the dream thing to do. So if we spot any, we might hop aboard. But um, Lakes by You is a very intriguing. Any signs there for the farm? Long Dole's Bank, Honeybee Lake. I reckon oh. probably let's carry on let's along here. It's woodlandy really? here, yeah. Not Honeybee Lake? Well, we're not going to be able to walk for too long. No, I think let's go this way because okay. there's a zip wire okay. and fishing in a meadow. Um, yeah, so Lakes by You, which we visited seven years ago is a very ingenious and intriguing place very close to Burford close to time uh, so in the Cotswolds we're not too far from home well, we're technically just outside the Cotswolds if you're being Are pedantic we? but it, it's not far from Sirencester and as you say it's what Are 15 minutes I think we're about 15 20 minutes in Sirencester oh. and we're 15 minutes from Burford so it's a great place to come Long and explore. Long story short, great location. And thousand what acres. It is, a thousand acres, 200 of which have been rewilded into wildflower meadow, which is stunning. John and Phoebe have just done the most incredible job. Essentially, there are a series of man-made lakes, one of which we paddle boarded on um, earlier this morning, as you saw. And you can actually can just show purchase. You yeah. That looks like something out of Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. There are a selection of incredible incredible we're talking three to eight million pound homes here's one um, surrounding these incredible man-made lakes and these are beautifully kitted out the owners can either obviously live in them or you can rent them out as uh, short-term holiday rentals which a lot of people do and probably make a very good income on the rentals so as a non-owner we can come we can rent a cabin or they have got more kind of hotel style rooms surrounding the spa which is where we were earlier you can come and enjoy the spa facilities if you're staying there is also the teepee where we had lunch is like generally open to the public but it's just a really fascinating business and um we are here obviously to learn about the spa and experience a little bit of that they have a real focus on wellness on treatments on um, a lot more holistic kind of things, which is very much what we're into. And of course, we're in the most beautiful setting here, so you really feel like you are immersed in nature. Have you, I, I've been zoning out, admiring the woodland. Huh. Have you talked about the main unique selling point, which is the lakes themselves? Would you like to talk about them, Don? <clears throat> well, firstly, that's the genius thing that John and Phoebe, his wife, have created here. And to be honest, there's very much an aura of Nick Jones, who's the founder of Sir House, about John. Yeah. And to be honest, I think they're both sort of working in parallel because this project has been going on since the 90s, much like Soho House, House really? was born in the 90s. Right. And they're both dyslexic, both very entrepreneurial, both very inspiring. Yeah, creative. And, and John um, basically spotted the opportunity that this is a brownfield site, was gravel pits. But of course, the genius thing is, I believe with gravel pits, you've got lots of huge areas where gravel has been excavated my belief is the original lakes they built here were already readily excavated so all yeah. they had to do was line them and fill them right so he kind of saw an opportunity and that's what i think this offers is the if you're looking for something that's not seaside but is a bit different you've got these lakes these massive vast areas of water mm. we've only been in a small one mm. where you can do things from wakeboarding to 
paddle boarding to swimming to mm. fishing all these amazing things i think it's a great place to come with children yeah um, but, so safe and you can obviously rent houses here you can get your ocado delivered here yeah <laughs> well i think it's a real blend i mean there's a lot of building work going on at the moment because i think a lot of houses are having renovations mm. um but yeah the long and short of it is you can obviously come and rent a house here but also they've got the hotel rooms that they've launched behind mm. the spa which i think are a bit more affordable and a bit smaller yeah um, and I think um, you can also just rent as a couple or as a small family, you can rent a little cabin or rent out the whole house. I was thinking like Hindu or like Christmas party. I bet they get booked up and I bet they do nice fireworks here at Christmas, yeah. things like that. So yeah, it's just really lovely. We need to pick up the pace a little bit because we need to do a lap of this lake and we've got to be back in half an hour. We have got our talks this afternoon. So they've brought in loads of industry experts from the world of wellness very much looking forward to Deepak Chopra and um, Kate Moss's talk later. Can't remember which is her hut. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is that? is that a falcon? I think it's a falcon, yeah. I don't think it's a hawk, right? I think it is a falcon. Wow. That is stunning. We both spotted him at the same time. Beautiful. So on our walk, we found a little snicket where, where you can actually see a lot of the homes um, that come onto the lake. There aren't actually that many places where you can access the lake aside from, from the homes, which I guess just adds to the privacy. But um, let's just have a look, at, a look at them from this wonderful viewpoint. So gorgeous, huge properties. Um, they all seem to have these gorgeous terraces. We did, in fact, if I can find it, I'll leave the vlog link. It's very old. You can have a good old laugh. Um, but we stayed in one of the ginormous ones a few years ago, seven years ago. And they've got gorgeous big roof terraces. I remember the interiors being quite sensational. And look how the sun is just dancing on the water. We were saying it's almost kind of, the nearest thing I could compare it to that some of you might have heard of is the Wentworth housing area or St George's Hill housing area in Surrey, which is quite famous, obviously a very exclusive, um, luxurious place to live. This is kind of like the far more wholesome Cotswold version and a lot more naturey. I just think it's incredible. Such a fun and interesting project and business. anniversary. Charlie and I had a great start to the day, kind of back to our usual routines. Back at Bamford, Charlie had a PT session with Marley. I did a nice um, reformer Pilates class, which was lovely. And I have just spent the morning editing the last, well, the vlog that you'll have seen last, which was our Q&A. Hopefully, a lot of you will have watched to the end because I did a nice little romantic montage of some extra footage from the wedding day. So that's been my morning so far. It's a really beautiful day, so I definitely want to get out in the garden. I'm just making myself some lunch. I've got a tiny bit of Dalesford courgette salad with a blue cheese something or other. Um, and then I've plucked some leaves from the garden. Can someone explain salad spinners to me, please? Because do they clean it or do you clean it and then this just dries it? Because this feels like a lot of equipment just to dry your leaves. Don't really know, but I mean, how does it... Oh, okay. I guess you just spin the water out. Is 
that all it does? I really don't know. Um, and then I've got, I'm not mega big into juices. I think they're a bit sugary, but Press very kindly sent us some juices and some soups, which is lovely. And the one juice which I've heard is actually really good for you is celery juice. And this is celery, a little bit of lemon and a little bit of spinach juice. So I'll have that after my now perfectly dry salad. I mean, to be fair, it has dried my leaves very well. My little curly leaves from the garden. I'm gonna stick some nice dressing on there. I'm gonna add some seeds in for good measure. Um, and sit outside and enjoy my lunch. I need to charge this camera battery and then I'm gonna show you some of the lovely wedding gifts which have arrived in the post today by some very spoiling friends and brands, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I'll show you that. Right, you may not realize that any time has passed what I've had my lunch. I was watching news clips about the Titanic submarine, which is just the most awful thing in the entire world and I cannot stop thinking about it. As of right now, they've obviously found the debris, um, so they know what happened and it's just truly awful, you know, and there's just a news story that you can't get out of your head. I've always been obsessed with the Titanic. Um, wouldn't ever want to go down there, but yeah really really awful um on a brighter note wedding gifts so some of our favorite brands very kindly sent a few lovely little bits and bobs i'm not going to go through everything but um the bits that arrived today this incredible champagne cooling carrying item from stackers and it's actually got a little tag on it which has got our wedding date or from now on our anniversary date 16th of the 6th 2023 and we do do a lot of especially with charlie's mum and dad we go into the park and we have little picnics so this will be fabulous for carrying a special bottle on such occasions really nice wedding gift that would be for someone or hen party gift or host gift for someone that likes to have picnics and things and they also very kindly sent this which is actually perfect because it's like a really beautiful let's put you down there can you see um like vintage trunk style suitcase and it will be absolutely perfect can you see dun, 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 for keeping memories from the wedding day so we can put uh like our wedding fragrance in here i can put the accessories for my wedding dress like my sleeves and my belts uh i can put we can put some photos in there it's really beautiful i would say more of a presentation box than a suitcase you could use it literally as a briefcase but it's got like elastic sections all up here so when you open it it'll present everything so maybe I'll put this together later and I'll show you because at the moment everything's just in a picnic camper and my dress keeps getting caught on it. So this will be even better. Again, fabulous, fabulous gift idea. You probably might, you might be able to get them personalized. I'm not sure, but gorgeous to have this in the house with all of our memories in. This absolutely gorgeous gift. Gifts arrived from my wonderful friends at Beauty Pie. I believe this is a British um, crafts person, late afternoon or British company. It's all hand painted, beautiful little nibbly bowls for almonds and olives when we have barbecues, things like that, or a guacamole. I could put some radishes in here. So two of these beautiful little dippy bowls. And then this fabulous bowl here, which as you know from our crockery style, it's just very perfect for our style of presentation, our style of food presentation. So gorgeous salads, pasta dishes in the winter, bake, um, I don't know if it's oven proof. I probably won't put it in the oven. I think I'll do cold dishes in here or like put warm thing. Oh, roast potatoes, I can put my roast potatoes in here. Um, but yes, beautiful, beautiful gifts. So thoughtful, so perfect for us from my lovely friends at Beauty Pie. So thank you, Beauty Pie. This is actually not a wedding gift, but another lovely delivery that arrived today from my friends at Mirabeau. This fabulous, it says La Vie est Belle, and it's a tote bag with a little glass of rosé on it, which couldn't be more perfect. I believe we're celebrating their new branding. Yeah, pure rosé bottle. 
which I have to say, I love the rebrand. It's got like a twisted kind of pattern to the bottle. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's stunning, very elegant, very girly, but equally, I mean, it is pretty girly, but it's beautiful. Um, designed by Jeannie, the founder. Draws inspiration from caref carefree moments spent on the beach in the Côte d'Azur. Actually, that twist kind of looks like when the sea retracts and leaves little ripples in the sand. Absolutely gorgeous. So we've got a little travel bundle here. This says Rosé Zibou Play. This is actually gorgeous. It's like a pink, oh my gosh, I've just noticed the rose gold edging. This is gorgeous. A little pink fabric linen notebook with rose gold down the spine. That's a gorgeous notebook. Ooh, I'm gonna take that straight up to the office. And then, oh my gosh, Joe loves. A fragrance paintbrush in pomelo. Pomelo is just the ultimate travel. Oh gosh, that just takes me back to a beach instantly. Maldives, actually Abu Dhabi is where I first wore pomelo. Always reminds me of that trip. Oh, we've got some sunnies here from Jimmy Fairley. These are pretty funky. They don't have notches on the nose, so great for not giving you sunglasses marks. I like those. I feel like I'm ready for the beach. Ready for my honeymoon. Doré, all-in-one balm. For what purpose? A multi-purpose balm. Balm? <laughs> balm. Formulated with castor oil, aloe vera, vitamin E, repairing and moisturizing the skin for any areas that are dry or chapped. We love a multitasking balm. I like these, these are really funky. Love. The case is almost identical to Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Sunglasses cases. And what is this little bit of information? Info about Jimmy Fairley. Lovely, and I love the tote bag, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Mirabeau, for these gorgeous little goodies. I love that. Oh, so fun, so, so fun. Okay, I have done a couple of hours of work, and now it's clouded over, so I will do some gardening, but it's not gonna be glorious, sunny gardening. Um, I need to do a little bit of what I call flower maintenance. I have mentioned this before. There are a lot of flowers in the house at the moment. Literally every surface vessel is covered or filled with blooms. In order to keep them fresh, you need to keep the stems trimmed um, and the water fresh. So I'm gonna go around and do that and at the same time, tragically throwing away bunches which have come to the end, including, you might not be able to see, but behind here is one of my bridesmaid bouquets, the wedding was a week ago, they were out of water all day on the actual wedding day. As you may have spotted in our Q&A, my bouquet is getting preserved and turned into a piece of art by Rachel Dean, which I can't wait to see. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I think the bridesmaid bouquets have come to the end now. So yes, a little bit of Friday afternoon flower maintenance. unboxed here darling? No, overwhelmed really. We've received a couple of lovely gifts from people that follow us um, and this is from a couple, well, two gents who are extremely supportive called Matt and Reese. We uh, love they them. live in Ireland. I believe they do they live in Belfast or Dublin. Northern Ireland, so Northern Belfast Ireland. area. I don't know if they live in exactly in Belfast but they've been super supportive um, of both of us for a yeah, long time now. Such lovely guys. And they're just very thoughtful people. And What's yeah. their Instagram handle? So their Instagram <gasps> is two guys at home. Oh, they're so lovely. They're just extremely uh, generous and supportive people. So anyway, th this is a. Can tell that if we live nearby, we'd be really good pals. I know. I think. I think we would actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully we'll meet them one day. Um, so this is a piece of artwork that they kindly gifted us. That is I'm thinking so that could be stunning. amazing in the pink 
Oh, <gasps> yeah. So it's two Charlie, and jo two Charlie and Josie, all our love memories. Oh. And I think that could be beautiful in the thing. Yes, really. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a vintage piece of artwork. I really like the, the frame on it. Mm. It's a nice size because a lot of our pieces are kind of bigger than this or half or this smaller. size. smaller, yeah. Not kind of that, which is perfect. Mm. And then two beautiful candlestick holders. I think these could be nice in your greenhouse. I either. was thinking that. Um, I'm not sure where these are from. What do they say in here? Hope you enjoy these botanical themed gifts from some of our favourite yeah. winter stores in Northern Ireland. Just That's absolute just so thoughtful. True gentlemen. Absolutely. So a thank you to them. Big thank and you. And a good opportunity also to say thank you to everyone else that has supported us this year and throughout well throughout our life on YouTube, mm. but also specifically through the wedding. Yeah, um, we've had so many just, lovely messages. I was just chatting to your mum. And she was saying how overwhelmed she's been by how lovely everyone's been to yeah. us after the wedding. And to her, everyone said and she was her. slaying in her outfit. Yeah, well, she looked phenomenal. <laughs> but I just think, yeah, it, it's just lovely. And we hopefully, you know, we believe that we're nice people and we try and try and be as, as lovely as we are as to everyone as we hope to be treated. So you get back what you, you give. What, yeah, you give you what you what get. You get what you give. Is that the expression? You get what you put in. <laughs> Catchy. <laughs> Catchy slogans yeah. um, with my slogans husband. With Josie and Charlie. <laughs> um, yeah, you can tell that we're not very good at We're also both very tired today. Actually. We so are. We got some pasta today. for dinner. We got uh, non atomic with What flavour? Not sure. Um, anyway, so we're going to go a bit of watering in the garden, aren't we? Oh, yes, we? big thank you. Thank you to everyone for their support. Um, and yeah, here's to a exciting weekend. What are we doing? <laughs> so I've just come outside as you can see the sprinklers are on and I just wanted to show you how incredible our lawn is looking sorry Charlie's approaching and he's on the phone um, but I didn't got a photo on I didn't take a photo on Monday when it had just been taken down but obviously we're less than five days from when it was taken down and you can barely even see where it was Today it's been a huge transformation. I know a few of you were concerned about our garden, but as you can see, it's just looking fabulous. Just taking my truck down to the kitchen garden, I'm gonna grab some greenery to have with our pasta this evening. And I think a few blooms might need a little bit of deadheading. It's a daily chore once, not chore, a daily thing I need to do once the temperatures start to rise in the summer months. A most joyous errand that I get to do every single day is pick my sweet peas. It's amazing how quickly they grow. Every day I'm like, oh, I've got them all. And then the next day there's more. It's incredible. The more you pick, the more they bloom. So I'm pick, pick, picking away. And look how gorgeous they are, the color of these. So remember this photo on the screen here was only a week ago, literally a week ago today on our wedding day. And they were down here and my adjusting in my wedding dress went to good use because they are flowering so beautifully and this will be my third picking. They've been blooming all week and these ones are some of the Roger Parsons sweet peas. They are the most beautiful lilac. Oh my gosh, even from here where I'm stood I can smell these um, beautiful lilac petals. And then over on this side they are pink and white and then somehow a deep purple one has got in here as well which I don't mind because look at that. I think this one, which is probably my favourite, white with a delicate pink middle, I think this one is called the Lady, Lady Spencer. Really stunning. And over here, if we just meander over, you can see that my Mange 2, boy oh boy, I've got a lot of Mange 2 here. So I'm actually going to pick loads now and then I'll also take some into a salad to George and Petra's who we're going to see on Sunday. Um, so yeah, a Mange 2 salad is going to be on the menu. <laughs> second loot from the garden today. A whole load of mange too. Again, just like sweet peas, same family. The more you pick, the more you'll get. So I'm just gonna have a little look online for some nice mange too ideas for um, for Sunday at PNGs. If you guys have got any nice mange too recipes, then please let me know. Um, 
um, but it's nearly bedtime but I'm just going to put a few precious bits in my beautiful stackers case as our wedding memory box I'll tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing so it doesn't really need lining but I'm gonna start with my beautiful veil which I don't know if you guys have actually seen the absolutely gorgeous very simple embroidery down here at the bottom so it just says oop. I don't know if you can see but it just says J and C and then we've got a little bit of salvia and a little bit of wheat embroidered on the veil very very precious so I'm going to fold this up in some tissue paper, easier said than done because it is absolutely ginormous. And then I have got my little pistachio belt which I wore during the garden party matched my bridesmaids beautiful dresses in here is one of the happy tears embroidered little um, what do you call it embroidered tissues from Gigi and Olive this was another option for my garden party belt little pink one didn't end up wearing that but it was lovely to have the option my beautiful sleeves Mimi sewed a little mint coloured dot on the tops of them because I kept putting them on the wrong way around but they are of course the same gorgeous tool as my wedding dress <laughs> and then my garter this is actually made from a layer of silk and lace from my mum's wedding dress so this was my something old that I wore on the wedding day this is actually an embroidered veil from Gigi and Olive that I didn't end up wearing. <gasps> I'm not gonna wear it again. I don't know if there'll be an occasion that I could wear it in the future, probably not me. Maybe if I do end up having a belated hen do, or otherwise I might be able to pass it on to somebody else. If anybody else in the family needs a a Mrs. Irons veil. Actually, luckily, I don't think we did get it personalised, which is very lucky, so it can definitely be reused by somebody. <laughs> I just put this in the memory box. This is the wedding timeline planner. These are all the bridesmaids timings for getting ready in the morning. I'm going to pop that in one of these little areas, little compartments. I don't know if this is a bit cheesy, but the bottle of champagne that the bridesmaids and I enjoyed on the wedding morning. I feel like we're creating a time capsule. This is our wedding fragrance created by Jo Loves. This is the English white rose and lemon leaves. It smells absolutely gorgeous. The whole house smelt like that on our wedding morning. My ring box. I actually don't think that needs to go in there. I'm going to keep that out. This is very precious. This is my wedding day fragrance. I wonder how long this will last. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Do you know what? I think I want to... Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Created for me by Jo Malone herself. A completely bespoke one of fragrance. Do you know what? I'm going to mist. Oh, it's just so precious, so floral, so... It's like an elevated rose fragrance. I really hope she brings this out. That would be amazing. My goodness, I feel so lucky to have that. These are some little personalised matchboxes with the drawing of our house on. It says Josie and Charlie, 16th of June 2023. Created by Gigi and Olive. Pop a couple of those in there. This is Charlie's wedding favour. Don't know what happened to mine. Cotswold, Cotswold Wildflower Seed. Oh my goodness, that fragrance is so amazing. If you like Penhaligon's fragrances, then that's giving a little bit of Penhaligon's, like a very elevated 
luxurious floral fragrance. There we go. Now this is very special. One of our fabulous videographers, Ruben, his father is a master woodworker and created this beautiful box for us and I actually on the day, no, not on the day, <laughs> someone on the day collected some of our bridal confetti from our confetti throw and I have kept it in here where hopefully it will be preserved. And then we have got some of the wedding stationery. This is the note that Joe wrote for me about the fragrance. It says, you are the first person to wear this fragrance, wishing you ever happiness on your wedding day. Love, Joe. Our menu, love these, created by Gable and Grain, with the sketch of the house, the map of where the ingredients were sourced, our wedding dinner, and a little bit of information on the ingredients all lovely organic ingredients. A fan to remind us how hot it was on the day. Uh, this is a copy of our invite, which I showed you in more detail in, in wedding vlog number one. Uh, this is our beautiful order of service. Again, I showed you this in the wedding vlogs rundown of the church service, the songs, the lyrics, just so beautifully made, and then the wedding party. And this is, oh, we've got two copies of the order of service. Perfect little compartments. This is my note that I wrote to Charlie and gave him alongside his little gift the night before the wedding and his little love letter to me. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the card that Lala gave me on my wedding morning. And then we have got our cocktail menu and our menu from the night before. So I'm going to pop those in there for safekeeping. Perfect size pockets. So there we go, our wedding memory capsule trunk. Gosh, I wonder when we'll next open this and who we'll be showing it to. Future children, maybe, if that happens friends, loved ones, who knows. But for now, a beautiful way of storing memories from the best day of our entire lives.